So welcome back to sunny South Canary. I'm Michael from the PGG Rights and Technical team. And today we're going to be talking about a couple of New Zealand's perennial pests, is, is piranha and, and grass scrub. So in a, in a young pasture like this, we've just dug up a couple of spade squares and we've found some both grass scrub and piranha caterpillar. Let's, let's start off with grass scrub. So grass scrub is a, is a damaging pest that eats away at the roots of things like young grass crop, can do cereals as well, and it really affects our yields. It, has a, it can be either a year or a two year life cycle with the, with the grass scrub. These little ones here in front of me are probably at about their second, after about their second molt, so they can grow up to about 2.5 to 5 centimetres in length. It's in this stage when they're doing their damage. We normally see the damage mainly in our late winter, early spring, we can, that's when we see the damage. In effect, the problem starts well before that. So what can we do to mitigate issues with uh, grass scrub in our pastures and in our crops? We'll start off, we can either know where our problems are and decide what to use to use a different crop. So ryegrass and clovers are really susceptible, but when we go with things like, say, a coxfoot or a, or a fescue, having those in a, in, a, in a pasture mix actually does help mitigate some of that because they don't actually feed as well on those fibrous roots. Understanding the life cycle is key. So we know that they're at, the, at this stage of the year, they're in the larval form like that, but then they go into their beetle stage, into the, into the actual grub stage, and that's when they start to lay their eggs. And so it's from that point on, sort of mid to late summer, we need to start looking to see if we can find these guys. This is when they start to, once the eggs hatch and they, and they go through their stages and we get to a larvae like this in the soil, that's when we can really start to understand if we've got a problem and mitigate it before we see the effects. More ways we can do this is understanding timing. So when we're planting a crop, we can use a, an insecticide when we, when we plant, a granular insecticide, that's slow release, or we can actually have different types of insecticide through the seasons and your TFR can help you with that. General rule of thumb, and it's good just to go digging up a spade. If we see any more than, say, five per spade square like I have here, we've found four, that's really going to start to do some damage. So understanding what you've got is the key. The other thing we have uh, we've found today is the Pirina caterpillar. And this is just before it's going into its uh, pupal stage, pupate stage, and then going on to be a moth. So Pirina, a little bit similar, but they're, they're just as damaging. A couple of different ways we can mitigate Pirina damage is using an endophyte on our, on our seed and also insecticide at different times of the season. And under, understanding the life cycle again is key. The best bits of advice you could get are monitor, take note of your numbers and what species you have, talk to your TFR about mitigation, or talk to your TFR about how we can try and minimise our numbers of both these pests before we even start a new crop.